Hello everybody, this is L Rules the World, and today we're going to be reviewing a fantastic piece of tech. No, we're not. Not at all. I am here today to talk to you guys about a tablet that I just purchased today that I am so unhappy with and fucking pissed off about that I have to tell you about it. Today I was out shopping trying to attempt to get some groceries, didn't really go well, everybody's overpriced in town so I have to go a little bit out of my way to get what I need. So, when I'm out there in town, I decided to stop by my local Best Buy. I've been in the market for a new tablet for about a couple of weeks now. Uh, my old one fried its card and there's nothing I can do about it. And I'd have to order another motherboard and I'm just not up to paying another 50 bucks just to get another motherboard. And I'm not paying uh, the company to fix the tablet for me when I know what's wrong with it. They're just going to send me a new one, so it's fucking pointless. Anyway, so I go into Best Buy to see what they have. And I'm talking to a lady, you know, she's she's pretty cool. And she takes me over to her Samsung tablet section. She's like, oh, this guy needs a tablet. I'm like, I'm, I'm not paying $400 for a tablet, buddy. I'm sorry. It's a tablet. It doesn't need to be connected to the fucking internet everywhere I go. It doesn't need to be connected to my phone or my phone service. That is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I don't need anything like that. I don't need a Windows tablet, and I certainly don't want a fucking iPad. Fuck that shit. Anyway, she takes me over to the off-brand section, like uh, Asus, and there's Acer over there, and there's, um, you know, Kindle, the Kindle Fire. They get the little 8-inch, 7-inch tablets and shit. And she points me towards this one. She says, oh, I just got this in. You know, it's kind of new to the arena of shit. And I'm like, okay. So she takes that out of the cabinet, goes over, prices it. She says it's a, a hundred bucks. I'm like, you know what? I got nothing to do today. Might as well try it, right? Okay. It's got somewhat of what I need. It has the 10.1 inch display. It has 16 gigabytes of storage. I don't care about the GPS. It has the two cameras front and rear, and it has support for the wireless updates, which is decent, and it also has Google Play, which is a big plus. It's running Android 4.4 KitKat, and what else can we find back here? Um, it's got the right processor in it, uh, ARM Cortex, quad core, nice, very fast. Uh, CPU speed and 1.3 gigahertz, kick ass, looking good. So I'm like, okay, you know what? This thing looks pretty good. It's off-brand. It says Digiland. I don't like off-brands. Off-brands usually end up being shit. I'll get to that in a minute. So I put the the tablet up. I purchase it. You know, I get my receipt, my bag. I walk out of the store. I come home, unload my groceries from my car, bring this in, take it out of the box, and it's too small for the application I need it for. So I'm thinking, you know, what What do I got to do? Do I make some, like, Velcro shit and put it on the back? I could do a shim. I could do a bracket. I can do anything with this thing, really, to try and make it fit. Unfortunately, it's too small. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? I could probably make this work. I'll try. I turn it on. I'm like, you know what? Well, before I even start any, any of this shit, I should probably see how the, the tablet itself functions. So I take it out of the box. So let's take this out of the box. Let's take this Digiland 10-inch quad-core tablet out of the box here. And immediately I notice that this tablet is boxed like a giant piece of shit. Um, very, very poor packing job. Very poor. There's like this really thin piece of felt on the top here to protect it. And I mean thin. I mean paper fucking thin. There's nothing there to protect this from extreme handling. And we know how UPS and USPS is with some of their boxes. They end up looking like they went through a third world war before they get to you. FedEx is especially bad. So anyway, I open it up. I get these two little things. I get my warranty. I got my booklet. Fucking cares. I go to the tablet. You know, this is this is the tablet itself. This is what it looks like. Uh, let's open the bottom of the box here. Well, we got um, a USB charger and... That's it. That's all you get. You don't even get headphones. Okay, like, whatever. I don't care. So let's look at the tablet real quick, alright? Let's take it out of the little sleeve here. This is the Digiland tablet. You know, the front looks nice as tablets go. And then you turn it around, and I noticed something familiar about this, but I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was. Um, again, get to that in a minute. 
did you land on the back two speakers on the side here you got your screws on the side for repair purposes and you got all your information for the uh, don't throw away uh, FCC bullshit on the bottom there so let's turn this hunk of shit on uh, immediately I noticed something about the screen it's kind of weird and it'll give you it'll get worse in a second it'll get worse okay so we're just gonna let it load up its little system here that that they have installed by the way this is not Android 4.4 I don't know who the fuck they're trying to kid this is not Android 4.4 I've messed around with Android 4.4 this is nowhere close to it alright not even close it's going through the loading screen okay well you know you got, you got the lock then you know that's pretty close to it okay does this look look at this screen look how fucking shit this screen is look how bad this is this is the equivalent of a 90s computer. This is fucking horrible. Fucking despicable. How do you put something like this in a tablet? I paid a hundred bucks for this shit. Are you serious? You couldn't do any better with the fucking screen? Alright, that's not even the worst complaint. Not even the worst complaint. Alright? So let's try and swipe it to the left. Oh. Oh, it doesn't swipe to the left. It's because it can't fucking swipe to the left. It can't swipe to the right. It can't swipe anywhere. It doesn't have the capacity to. And I looked more into this. I'll get more into it in a second. You have the Google search function up here. You got the Google voice, which doesn't work. Awesome. Let's try the camera. What's the camera look like? What in the fuck is this? I have had better picture quality with my LG fucking phone from 2008 oh wait this is the year 2015 should we not be demanding camera specs that are at least double of what we've been doing for the last couple of years this is terrible fucking terrible this is what like two megapixels I'd be recording with a potato if I decided to record with this thing Fucking awful. And the front's not much better either. It's like 0.5 megapixels if you're lucky. Fucking shit. Okay, so let's go to the little app thing. Okay, not. This is not Android anything 4.4. Again, I'm going to explain to you guys why it's not. Look how big the icons are. Does this look anything remotely close to Android 4.4? Because I just had the tablet that I told you I broke a couple weeks that broke a couple weeks ago. It broke itself while I was watching a video on YouTube, and the icons looked nothing like this. Okay, they look nothing even close to this. They're huge. These icons are huge. This is a third-party operating system. This is not Android. Don't give me the shit that it is. Because it's not. I fucking know. Okay, so let's go home. Google Play. It has Google Play. Unfortunately, I'm not, I haven't logged into it. I don't know what it's capable of because I don't give a fuck right now. Okay. So we're going to pull down the settings here. And you get, you know, this has already drained a whole shitload of battery. It was at 65 when I started it. I used it for five minutes and put it away. And now it's at 52%. So it uses a shit ton of battery. So let's look at the settings menu. You got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, uh, sound, display, storage, battery, apps, users, location, security, you know, the normal Android shit. Down here, about tablet, Android version. It says it's 4.4.2. It's not. Again, I'm going to say it. It's not. This is not KitKat. <sighs> All right, so... You know, that's all this awesome, awesome shit here. I'm not going to bother to update it. Don't give a shit. And, uh, you know, the swipe thing really pissed me off. I can't, I can't adjust it. There is no setting to adjust it. I looked up, uh, you know, is there anything on this specific manufacturer? Nobody knows about it. Nobody knows anything about this tablet itself. It's, it's so third party that it's like in its own little realm. And I, I figured out later on why this looked so fucking familiar. And if you look at the back here, let me put this to sleep. If you look at the back here, you'll notice these icons right over here. And if you look on eBay, 
put, type in 10 inch tablet. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to put a still up there for you. 10 inch tablet. You're going to see that this is exactly the same tablet that is on eBay for sale from Hong Kong. This is the same exact tablet. All they did was put Digiland on the back with fucking print. It's not even in, embroidered or anything. It's just Digiland. That's it. That's the only thing they did to differentiate it. And you know what the fucking nail in the coffin was for me? Check this out. All right, we're going to shut this thing down. Watch this. You guys are going to be amazed. So in order to get to the boot menu on an Android, you know to hold the power and hold down, right? So let's do that. I'm waiting. There we go. Right up here. What the fuck is this? What is this? Explain this. Explain, Best Buy. Fucking explain it. You mean to tell me you're tricking old people? People who don't know. You know, little kids. Their parents. Who work hard their whole life to give their kids something like this. And you're selling them Chinese Hong Kong bullshit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't even go into the boot menu because I can't read this fucking language. I'm sorry. I'm not multilingual like a lot of people are. You know, I was never given the privilege of learning Chinese or all this other cool language shit. You know what I got in school? Fucking Spanish. I can't tell what this says, but I sure can tell you what a sack of puntas is. What the fuck, man? It just, it goes to a whole bunch of fucking different screens. 123108. That's probably when this fucking thing was manufactured. Oh, that's awesome. Wonderful. Now it's making noises and doing green screen shit. Wonderful. Awesome. Keep it going. And then it resets. It resets itself. I bet it's like a sound and visual test. That's probably what it was. I'm sorry, guys, but... Best Buy, you should be fucking ashamed of yourselves for even trying to attempt to fucking put something out like this. This is fucking insane. On so many fucking levels. Like, you don't even under understand how ridiculous this is. This isn't even close to being a, a real tablet. This is like a play thing for a five-year-old. This is the, the thing that you go to Walmart and you see those little rubberized fucking tablets there. That's the shit that I imagine right here. That's what I imagine that those are like. This shit right here. This is bullshit. Be fucking ashamed of yourselves. I can't even deal with this. I can't. I have to return it. There's nothing I can do. It has been destroyed from the time it left its factory. This shit is old. It should not be in your store. Fucking fix it.